Whoosh, whoosh. What's happening guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog. Today we're actually installing LED bulbs in our fog lights. I have super whites in there right now, so like they're better than halogen, they're not like the yellow halogen. They're, they're whiter than the yellow halogens, but they're not LED. And so I want all my stuff to be LED. Bought some LEDs, I'll put a link down in the description of the ones that you need. From all of the reviews that I've read and everything on these LED bulbs, they're supposed to be great. They're supposed to be a lot better than the halogens. Currently, I do not have halogens in my car at the moment. I have these like hyper whites and they're, I'll be honest, they're not that much better than the, I mean, they're better than the halogens, but they're not as good as LEDs. So they're, they're not like white. They're just like a little bit brighter than halogens. So these should be a substantial upgrade. And if you guys have halogens, these are gonna be a massive upgrade for you. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to install the LEDs and then I'm gonna show you the difference before and after and all that good stuff and how these things go. Um, also, I dropped some new merch, bam. This F30 script t-shirt, um, it's pretty dope. I think it's my favorite font that I've used so far. Here is a gray one. A cat, a gray one, a cat. I just released these and they're super dope just in time for spring. They're at my store, www.thickf30.com. I love this font so much, dude. I went to shop for fonts on my computer and this was honestly the first one that came up and I was like, done. I'm not even gonna overthink it. I love the font, let's roll with it. It looks super cool. It's like scripty, like can kind of read it, kind of can't. I, I just love it. I think it looks really good and it's clean. It's super clean. It's like right in the center of the chest. And I think I'm gonna expand this font into some hoodies and some other apparel. But let's get to the video, LED fogs install. And also it's important to mention that we might have to do some coding. So if we do, either way, I'm probably gonna throw the coding in this video because I wanna make sure that I cover all avenues or you guys get really upset with me. And last thing I wanna do is make you upset with me. So it's Sunday, man, I'm cranking out videos today. I actually gotta record three videos today. Three videos I gotta record and edit. It's like 16 hours of work, but that's the life you live as a content creator. So let's hop out to the garage right now and get these LEDs in the fog lights. All right, so we are in the garage. I think the best route for installation, uh, I backed the car in last night. I think I'm just gonna do it from the front of the garage. It's also pretty early and there's some pretty decent light up front and I wanna show you guys what the stock bulbs look like before I put in the new ones. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the car and then put on the fogs and show you what they look like right now. I don't think my neighbors like me very much. <laughs> it's so loud. All right, so here they are at the moment. This is what we're looking at. Okay, so that is where we're at at the moment. As you can see, they're, they're not bad. They're not halogen yellow, but they're not LED bright. And this car is like full of LED lights now. I have all, almost everything is LED. So except for some stuff on the interior, which we will get to, but I want the rest of it to be LED. I just want everything to be consistent in the vehicle. So we're gonna go ahead and put these fogs in and it should be a lot brighter, man. I'm, I'm gonna show you guys the bulb I have in there right now. Honestly, the bulbs that I put in my fog lights, that was actually the first modification upgrade, whatever you want to call it. I did the car ever. Like when I first bought it, I was like, oh my God, these fog lights are terrible. I didn't know how to code on the car and the fog lights would turn on every time I turned the wheel. So I was like, well, the best thing I could do is just make them look better. So I bought these hyper whites and they weren't bad. They're, they're, they're fine, right? But I didn't know much about LEDs then. Dude, LEDs are the way to go. So um, these are the ones that I bought. And like I said before, you guys, there will be a link down in the description. These are called Sirius, Sirius LED H8 size DRL fog L projection pack, whatever, dude. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put the link in the description and make it easier for you guys because wants to type stuff in. So let's just hop up to the front of the car and then I'm gonna show you how to do this install. All right, guys. So in order to remove this little fender liner piece right here, we're gonna take out three eight millimeter bolts. One is right there, one is right there, and one is right there. Just back them out with that eight millimeter socket. I want to turn the wheel a little bit to the other side so you can access this panel. And then from there, it's pretty straightforward. You just pull this back. Try to make this as simple as possible for you guys. But if you 
pull back this little flap. And right there, you see that little wire with the housing? That is our fog light. So here's the actual fog light, and the way that you're gonna get it out is it's gonna be in there like this, and you just twist like that, and then it will allow this to release. So you can see I have these hyper whites, they're like a blue bulb. Um, they're better than halogen, but they're just not LEDs. So LEDs are gonna take us to the next step here, the next level, and we should be looking a little bit better. I'm actually gonna leave one LED in and then one of these hyper whites so we can see the difference. So in order to get this bulb out, you'll see two little clips here on the side. You should just press in, slowly jimmy that out just like that. Yours might be a little bit more difficult because I've already replaced these, so but it should be simple. Just pull it out just like that. All right, so here's the difference between the LED bulb and the hyper white bulb. As you can see, there's a lot more going on with the LED bulb. I'm pretty confident that these are gonna be far brighter than these ones. So let's go ahead and throw it in. The same way that we pulled it out, we're gonna put it in. So we'll just take our old housing here, plug it back in like that, make sure those clips engage. And so basically the same way that we pulled it out, we're gonna put it back in. You just have to remember I had to twist like that in order to get it out, so I'm gonna have to put it in like that and twist the opposite direction in order for it to lock. And you guys will feel it when it locks into place. It's difficult, if it's your first time, it's kind of tough because you gotta find those little grooves, but just be patient with it and you'll get it. And you know, throw a light in there so you can see what's going on. I wish I could show you guys, but I just, I don't have the space and the light in order to get in there and really show you it going into the actual uh, bulb housing. It's such a tight fit, but I know you guys can do it. Just take your time and be patient and you'll figure it out. After I throw this in right now, I'm gonna do a close up and show you what it looks like. All right, so you can see it right there. We have it in. And like I said, it's very simple to get in there. Just gotta be patient. Take your time with it and you guys will get it. So now I'm just gonna put these three fastening screws back in and we will be good to go. Oh yeah, dude. So I don't know if you guys could tell, um, but it is a lot. It looks way better. So I'll admit the difference is very tough to see on camera. But if you guys saw it in person, you would notice right away the LEDs are far brighter and look way more blue, I guess, like blue white, like hyper white. And the old ones just look yellow compared to them. Um, it's a huge difference. And it really sucks because I can't translate it that well on camera, but you'll just have to take my word for it. Huge difference, looks amazing. So you'll see right here, we just got that fog lamp malfunction, which is good. I actually wanted that to pop up for you guys so I could show you how to remove it. So it's likely a coating issue, um, pretty straightforward. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. Uh, before we hop into any of the coating, I'm gonna put in the other fog lamp on the left-hand side, same process as the right. Then we're gonna hop into the coating and I'm gonna show you how to coat it. Shouldn't have any errors, it should be clean, smooth sailing from here. Um, so let's do it. All right guys, so we are in the car. We're gonna go ahead and take our Bluetooth adapter. If you guys are unfamiliar with the coding process at all with Beamer Code, make sure you check out this video. I explain everything you need to know about Beamer Code. I'm actually using a new OBD2 Bluetooth adapter. I'll also put the link to that below so you guys can do your coding and everything. If you guys are ever uncomfortable with coding, please don't do it. Don't do it to your car, man. You can just, you can break something. You can ruin something. And the last thing I wanna do is be making videos for people who are still uncomfortable getting into the coding process of their car and potentially really damaging your vehicle. So if you guys are uncomfortable with this, just take it somewhere and have it done. Take it to a shop and have it done. Just find yourself a local Euro shop that you can trust and have them do it for you. There's no sense in you trying things on your car, um, experimenting and potentially breaking things. So I can't stress that enough because I've gotten a lot of questions from people who I feel like are clearly undereducated when it comes to working on your vehicle. And yes, Beamer Code is very user-friendly and it is out here to help all of us and even people who really don't know that much about cars, but you can really screw things up. If you don't know what you're doing and you are jumping into expert mode and you're hitting things and you don't know what you're doing, dude, you can really mess your car up. So like, 
seriously, it's, it's important for you guys to understand that you need to know a little bit about cars and you need to know a little bit about what you're doing in order to do some of this coding. I don't wanna scare you guys, I don't wanna freak you guys out, but at the same time, it's logic and common sense. So please make sure you're using common sense before you're jumping into the ECU of your BMW and you have no idea what you're doing. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put our OBD2 adapter into our obd do port. All right, so once we have the Bluetooth adapter in, we're gonna go ahead and open up our app Beamer code. We're gonna go ahead and hit connect. We're gonna go ahead and select our chassis, hit connect again, and then give Beamer code a little bit of time to process, connect with the car, and it should load up our ECU. Is it weird that I kind of like it when my car throws a code because then I have an opportunity to create content and solve a problem for you guys? I mean, I'm not even kidding. Like something happens to my car and I'm like, oh, this is great. Like now something isn't working and I can show the world how to fix it. <laughs> That's like how my brain thinks. Most people would be like, dang, now I have to spend money and fix my car. And in my mind, I'm like, great, I have a problem to solve and I can teach people. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so once it loads up here, we're gonna hop into the front electronic module. This is a very large category. Give it some time to load. There are a lot of features hanging out in this category. And um, yeah, it just takes a little bit longer to load it up. Funny story, I actually destroyed my front right under tray splash guard on the way home from a car show yesterday. I don't know what happened, but I think I hit something or I caught something. So I'm trying to find the part online so I can reorder. It's only like a 20 or $30 part. Dude, the whole way home is like cluck, 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 just dragging on the ground. It sounded so haggard. All right, guys, we are loaded up here. So we're gonna scroll down. We are going to scroll down. Here we are. Okay, cool. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump into fog light lamp and we're gonna switch that to LED. And I'm gonna see, I'm gonna see if that does it, but we also have fog light warm monitoring and fog light cold monitoring. And I don't know if we need to change anything in there, but I'm not gonna mess with it until we have a problem to fix. So the first step, hit the fog light lamp, LED, change it to LED and Right now, the fog light warm monitoring is active and the cold monitoring is not active. So we're gonna we're just gonna code in the LED part and if it works, then we're good. We don't need to do anything else. But if it doesn't work, then I'll go ahead and kind of mess with the warm monitoring and the cold monitoring. I did read a few things on Beamer Post that um, some people had to mess with that stuff. So, but every car is different, you guys. So it's like, it's this is why it's so hard to answer everybody's questions at once when it comes to this kind of thing because all of these cars are just so unique and so different. Um, okay, so it's coded it in. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the car and we'll see what happens. So we still have the fog light malfunction. So we're gonna go back in and we're gonna mess with some of the cold monitoring and warm monitoring and we'll see if we can get around this issue. Now I still have Beamer code open. I still have everything right where I left it. I'm gonna go ahead and hop into fog light warm monitoring and I'm gonna turn that off. I'm gonna try this combination having both of those monitorings off and I think that might, that might be it. Let's cross our fingers, that might be it. So we're gonna go ahead and code that in, start coding. I just restarted the car, the car restarted and the, uh, the check engine light's gone. We're good. So you guys, it's important to note that when you're doing this, you know, you gotta do the fog light lamp, change it to LED, and make sure your fog light warm monitoring and cold monitoring are not active. Both of those, not active. All right, so that's everything. That's everything you need to know, and um, that's everything you need to do, and then we'll just go ahead and disconnect after we code all that stuff. When you're doing that coding, you don't have to do them separately like I just did it. I just did them separately because I'm figure I was figuring out the right combination. But now that I know it, I would have just gone in there. I would have gone into the fog light lamp, changed that to LED, and then I want I would have gone into the warm monitoring and changed that to not active. So you can do those all at once and then code everything together as a package. You don't need to do it individually like I just did it. Like I just said, I, I was doing it because I was figuring it out as we went. So we're good now. We're good. Everything is fine. I'm going to hop out of the car and um, kind of show you what it looks like with both LEDs in. And before I hop out of the car, I'm just going to show you guys that I do have the fog lights active and I do not have a code throwing 
a, uh, any errors, uh, you know, I just want to make sure that we're on the same page so no one freaks out on me. You didn't show us that there wasn't a code. We don't believe you. There's no code, so you have to believe me now. Oh, yeah. This looks way better. Man, I hope you guys can really see it. Um, it looks so much better. Night and day difference. As you can see, it just matches the top lights. All right, so I do want to note while I'm looking in the camera, I can just tell that you can't quite notice the difference as well as you can in person. So I just really, really want to stress the fact that like when you guys do this, you'll see the difference in person. It makes such a big difference. I know it's tough to see in the camera, but you'll just have to take my word for it. Dude, it makes a huge difference and they look so much better with LEDs, especially for not spending that much money. Like the bulbs are not that expensive. It looks way better for the front end. The front end just looks so much better. But anyways, guys, this is a video that was a long time coming. I had a few people asking about it and I figured why not do the whole tutorial, install process, the bulbs you need and all the coating to just get you back on the road with your fogs running without any issues. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We got more videos coming this week. Please do subscribe, comment down below, like this video and hit that bell notification. Just like that, this video is over and I am out. Peace.